Friends, the legal case against Eddie Alexander and the SDA church concerning scam activities has come to an end. I said the case has no basis. Okay. Yeah, I said it has no basis. Remember, some few months ago, I made a video about lawsuit against the SDA church and Eddie Alexander for participating in Ponzi scheme that turned out to be a scam. Now, the court case is over and what is the result? Is Eddie Alexander and the SDA Church paying some $350 million to investors who lost their money? If it sounds like something you might be interested in, then I would encourage you to keep watching and don't go anywhere. As I said, I made a video some months ago about lawsuits against the SDA Church and Eddie Alexander for scamming some 62,000 Haitian Americans. Maybe you may have forgotten, so let me take some few minutes to remind you of what really happened. Eddie Alexander, an Adventist elder in one of the SDA churches, was the CEO of eMini FX, a cryptocurrency and forest trading platform. Eddie promised his investors about 5 to 10% returns on investment per week. It sounds good, right? So one could make lots of money in a very short period of time if they invested some few thousands of dollars. Now friends, because of Eddie's position in his local church as elder and because of the promising returns on investment per week, many Adventists and some non-Adventists invested their money in E-mini FX scheme. And guess what happened? It was a scam. It was. Friends, it was alleged that some SDA church elders invested church money in E-mini FS scheme with the hope of making lots of money for the church in a very short period of time. Not that alone, some church elders, some church pastors also invested their personal money in E-mini FX scheme with the hope of making lots of money. Lots of money. And friends, they never got their investment back. Some investors filed lawsuits against Eddie Alexander, E-mini FX and the SDA church. Now, after a trial that ended some few days ago, you know what happened? Eddie Alexander has been sentenced to nine years in prison and the Seventh-day Adventist church was taken out of the case. Let's go ahead and read this report. It says, CEO of cryptocurrency and forest trading platform sentenced to nine years in prison for 240 million scheme to defraud investors. Damayan Williams, the United States attorney for the Southern District of New York, announced today that Eddie Alexandra was sentenced by U.S. District Judge John P. Cronin to nine years in prison for engaging in commodities fraud. Alexander was the leader of a purported cryptocurrency and foreign exchange, that is, forex trading platform called eMini FX, and he defrauded over 25,000 investors in the eMini FX trading platform of more than $248 million. Wow! $248 million. U.S. Attorney Damayan Williams said, Eddie Alexandra defrauded tens of thousands of ordinary investors of almost a quarter billion dollars in his cryptocurrency investment scam. Alexandra's fraud was brazen and included fabricating weekly investment returns of at least 5% out of thin air and falsely claiming to use artificial intelligence trading technology that did not even exist. Most egregiously, Alexander recruited many of his investors by exploiting his position of trust within his church, that is the SDA church, and the Haitian community, even going so far as to enlist members of the church to help recruit E-mini FX investors. So friends, some of the members that were enlisted to help recruit E-mini FX investors were pastors and some SDA church members. You know, so Eddie Alexander actually used 
these people to recruit e-mini FX investors, of which most of them were Adventists, Seventh-day Adventists. This is so sad. Many Adventists actually got scammed. And one information that I had was that an SDA church board elder in New York invested as much as 80,000 US dollars. This elder invested this money into e-mini FX scheme with the hope of making millions of dollars overnight. But it turned out to be a sad story. It turned out to be a scam. Friends, this is so sad. The report continues that as today's sentence demonstrates, cryptocurrency executives who lie and cheat their customers will be held to account for their crimes. Now, the report reaching us is that they have been able to collect some millions of dollars from Eddie Alexander to actually pay the investors, but investors may not get full 100% of their investment. They may get around 40 or 50% of the money they invested into E-mini FS scheme. Why? Because more than half of investors' money is nowhere to be found. And let's go ahead and listen to this person. He has more to say on this issue of Eddie Alexander and the investors and the SDA church. There are over 100 churches, about 105 or 6 churches, uh, Haitian Adventist church, who were actively involved and uh and uh promo promoting the uh emini effects and some of these pastors have eddie alexon and their church uh presenting emini effects uh he had visited many churches in texas and miami and new york and different places promoting emini effects so they knew that this was a scam and if they didn't know they should have known basically so I think that uh, this the class action lawsuit is a very strong case. Uh, the class has a very strong case against the church. And I got to tell you, this is not the first time that type of, of, of uh, fraudulent scheme happens in the church. In the 1980s, the same thing happened in the 1990s. It's almost like every 10 years, something happens. Somebody come up with some scheme because, quite frankly, the church and the pastors are the best way to run scheme because if you're running a scheme, uh, who is the best to help you with it? A pastor, because the pastor have access to people. The people trust their pastors. They're going to do exactly what the pastors tell them to do. So it's a really, it's a really, uh, uh, come up, uh, uh, it's a really good way to um, to uh, to push a scheme because you're not going to have a lot of uh, pushback. In fact, uh, I heard one pastor says that you know he believes in two things: Jesus Christ and Emini FX. So, uh, and I'm sure that they made a lot of money. Now, here's what's interesting. A.D. Alexson is getting sentenced July 18, but this case is not over. As far as I know, uh, the receiver is investigating a lot of people who were around A.D. Alexson. Uh, most of them were named in the lawsuit that they were, they received a lot more money that they put in. In other words, some of them, like somebody like Pastor Maisonneuve or Pastor Montpremier or Pastor William Jean Charles or Pastor Smith Olivier, all of these pastors, they all are leaders in the Adventist church, leaders in the Asian Adventist church. People respect them, people believe them, people trust them. They all made a lot of money because they knew it was a scam. So in other words, what they did was they invested their money. Every week they were taking money out while they were telling their parishioners not to take their money out, to leave their money, that they were going to be millionaires. Meanwhile, they took all the money out. So apparently, the receiver has evidence of all the people who had received more than they put in. For example, somebody who put in, let's say, $200,000 and walk away with $800,000, that $600,000 extra is your money. So the $144 million out of the, uh, that I told you that the receiver don't have, a lot of that money went to people like the pastors. Basically, the people were part of the scam. That money went to them. And I think that the receiver or even the, the, the prosecutor, the government may go, may go after them. This should be a lesson to all SDA church elders, SDA church pastors, and SDA church members. 
You know, the church house is not meant for the purpose of promoting investment schemes. And to the church pastors and to the church elders, please, your job is not to promote investment schemes in the churches. Your job is to preach the word of God to God's people. All right, so friends, this is the current update concerning E-mini FX at the Alexander and the SDA Church. The good news is that the SDA Church is now out of this case but there are some people who are also pursuing this case to make sure that the seventh day adventist church pays some money to investors who lost their money but i don't think this is going to work thank you for watching my name is lawrence and for more stories be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any video we publish and also you can find more stories at adventistpage.blogspot.com all right thanks for watching and see you soon